Hi, everyone. Welcome to South County Sports Zone inside the MVTV studio. I'm Gordon Spencer. It's time to wrap up the 2015 2016 Aliso Niguel High School sports season. Although there were no CIF titles won, there were several league champions crowned and some entertaining games including high school football. The Aliso Niguel Wolverines just one league win, but it was against Capo Valley, the Cougars needing a victory to get into the playoffs. Capo going as an at-large team in 2014. Aliso needs to win the last two to have a chance to get into the playoffs. They are an 0-2 record. First quarter after an Aliso turnover. Capo's Kevin Brown finds Mitchell Nikovich. 38 yards, touchdown, Capo, 7-0. Moments later, Aliso ties it up. Nick Chapman, Andre Cotton, beyond the defense, 69 yards to tie it at seven. And then it's Cotton again, this time on the ground for Aliso. 17-yard touchdown, Aliso leads it 14-7. 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Kevin Brown hits Tyler Wagner for Capo. Five-yard touchdown to tie it at 14. Second quarter, Aliso looking for the lead back. But Nick Chapman is intercepted in the end zone by Jack Stroud. So Capo marches down the field and Tyler Wagner from a yard out scores. Capo leads it 21 to 14. Aliso comes right back. Nick Chapman to Britt Sable, 19 yard score to tie it again. It's 21 all at the half. And once again, the band playing on their final home game before they head off to a performance competition. Third quarter, Capo takes the lead back. Tyler Wagner, one yard touchdown. The extra point was blocked, 27-21. Remember that extra point that was blocked. Aliso had an answer, Nick Chapman to Blake Sable. 10 yard touchdown, 28-27 Aliso. Fourth quarter for the biggest lead of this game, Chapman to Cotton with pressure in his face, and Cotton goes 28 yards into the end zone, 35-27 Aliso, and the Aliso crowd having a hard time keeping up, counting all those points. We're back and forth again. Then with 142 left, Capo drives the field. Wagner punches it in. Capo down 35-33. They go for two for the tie, and Brown hits Andre Vera to tie it at 35 and this game needed more time to settle it in overtime. Aliso takes the lead back. Cotton with the touchdown. It's 42-35 Aliso. But Capo has the answer. Brown finds Nikovich. 13-yard touchdown. Capo's down 42-41. Capo going for the win on the two-point conversion. And Wagner is denied. Bear Green and Jacob Myers with the tackle, Aliso holds on in a crazy, wild, wacky game, 42 to 41. Capo finishes the season one and three, Aliso Niguel one and two, Chapman 395 yards in the air, four touchdowns and 92 yards on the ground. To boys basketball, the Wolverines went as the third place team out of a very tough South Coast League that earned them a home playoff game. Starting with round one, Division One AA, Long Beach Jordan, the number four team out of a very tough Moore League, visiting Aliso Niguel, the third place team out of the South Coast League. First quarter, first couple of minutes after an offensive rebound, Nick Chapman banks it in. It's two all. Long Beach Jordan able to stay on top early. Inman Lazo, the big man, turns and lays it in 4 2, Long Beach Jordan. Great play by Aliso's Lucas Parks getting through the defense to Christian Lee. The quick two to tie it at six, but it was 11-8. LBJ after one. Second quarter, Long Beach Jordan with their biggest lead. David Lopez, the three, 14-8, Jordan. And then Aliso with the three. It's Lucas Parks draining it. Aliso down 14-11. Long Beach Jordan keeps it moving. Torian Hilbert running. Gunning, laying it in for two, 17 to 13. More Hilbert now off the rebound. Long Beach Jordan will lead it by seven at the half, 24 to 17. Aliso looking for more to cheer about in the second half. Third quarter, quick start for Aliso Niguel. Lucas Parks 
takes it, runs ahead, lays it in. Aliso down 24-20. Then Aliso's Dollywall loses it. Christian Lee is there to clean it up for two. Long Beach Jordan up 26-22. Then it's Lucas Parks again. Getting inside for the jumper. Aliso gets within two, 28-26. But Long Beach Jordan always an answer. Sudan Toms outside for three. And Long Beach Jordan leads at 39-30 after three. Fourth quarter off the Aliso miss. Hassan Rozelle runs it in. 41-30 Jordan. Aliso just not able to put a run together late. Christian Lee, the late two. But the Aliso Niguel Wolverines are eliminated by a score of 63 to 49. Aliso, a tough end to a nice season. A young team, they will be back. To the pool where the boys' water polo teams only two losses in league were to Capo Valley. They finished second in league and had a short run in the playoffs. Boys Water Polo, Division Three, Round Two, Murrieta Valley, the number one team in Division Three, visiting the Aliso Negal Wolverines, the number eight team in Division Three. First quarter, first half, all Murrieta Valley. Ben Marchesano makes it five to nothing, Murrieta Valley, after one. Aliso, some good defense by goalie Jaden Leacock. Nice save there. Second quarter, more Murrieta Valley. Nick Rogers, quick pass to John Lafferty, seven to nothing. Murrieta Valley. Aliso looking to get on the board. In the first half, Skylar Lee's shot is blocked by Fleener. Murrieta Valley leading 7 0 at the half. John Puffer and his Aliso Miguel Wolverines looking for some offense. Nowhere to be found in the first half. Third quarter, Aliso finds the goal finally. Skylar Lee, long shot. Aliso down 8 1. Aliso climbing back in it. Kyle Corrigan, Nick Fiori, Wolverines down by eight. Then it's Colin Knight to Corrigan, to Yuri. 10-3, Marietta Valley. To the fourth we go, it's Yuri doing it all. Playing defense, the steal, the swim, the blooper. Too little too late, though, for the Aliso Niguel Wolverines as they are eliminated from the playoffs by a score of 12 to 4. Murrieta Valley moving on. Yuri, three goals in the loss. Aliso Niguel, no goals in that first half. When we come back, we'll celebrate the Aliso Niguel girls and show you their accomplishments in the 2015 2016 sports season. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is right in your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. The Aliso Niguel softball team finished third in the South Coast League and have found some magic in the postseason. After an upset in round one, they were looking to take out another league champ. Aliso hosting Oxnard, the Pacific View League champs. They've won five straight league titles. Aliso and Alan Cowett, head coach, and Paul Tomnoko, the head coach of Oxnard. Top of the first one-on-one -on -one out for Oxnard when Arizona bound Reina Carranco doubles. Jen Ramirez comes around to score. It is one to nothing. Oxnard, bottom of the second. Elisa loads the bases. Two out, three two count on Haley Tran, and she clears the bases. A double to the fence. Danielle Mandachak, Tori Mickelson, Regan Salas score. Elisa up three one after two. Top of the third. Oxnard coming back now down three two. First and third one out the butt. Out at first, but the run scores. It is 3-3. Bottom of the sixth, Ashley Ruiz unties it. With this blast to right center, it is gone. Aliso takes a 4-3 lead. Top of the fourth, Megan Thorpe replaces Nikki Pika in the circle, and she sets down the Yellow Jackets. 1-2-3. Top of the fifth, Thorpe, help from the defense. With a go-ahead run at the plate, 
Kate Paluka, Robs, Alice Gonzalez, great catch, still 4-3 Aliso. Bottom of the sixth, Aliso looking for more. Haley Tran looking for a fourth hit. Robbed by Maya Lopez. Runner tags at third, but the umps call a double play. Runner left early. Top of the seventh, Oxnard with the tying run at second. One out. It's Paluka again under it to make the catch. It's two outs. Oxnard down to their last out. Jen Ramirez to right. Hits it hard, but Daniel Mandachak grabs it. That's it. Aliso Niguel holds on to advance to the quarterfinals by a score of 4-3. Yeah, um, this is kind of our type of game all year. We came from behind, and we've been playing a lot of these games lately, um, one-run games. Um, so the girls have been pretty battle-tested on this, you know, started with that mission game. And um, they are not lacking in confidence. They're playing well right now. So it was good. I had no doubt they'd come back and uh, play hard and finish strong. Oh, it felt great. I knew right off the bat that it was going over. It was right there outside. Um, just felt good. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to move on to the quarterfinals, and I'm looking forward to what's to come. So. Oh, to come back, it's just an unbelievable feeling. I'm really happy about how our offense and our defense have come together and just played these past nine games in a row. Just to come out with a win every single time, coming back from a deficit, it's just, it's just really happy and that all our practice paid off. Haley Tran with a big game, three for four with three runs batted in. Aliso Niguel gets out of the second round on to the quarterfinals. Oaks Christian, the number one team out of the Marmonte League, visiting Aliso Niguel. Peter Ackman, the coach for Oaks Christian. Of course, Alan Cowett leading the Wolverines, top of the first two outs. And Megan Thorpe gets the strikeout to end the inning for Aliso Niguel. Bottom of the second, Megan Thorpe at the plate this time. Off the first base, but the ball gets away. Thorpe wants to go to second, and the ball beats her. She is out. Top of the third, one on, one out. And Thorpe strikes out Maya Brady and Caitlin Simmons guard trying to steal. And Paige Sandoval to Lindsay Altafish. Her foot comes off the bag. That is a double play. Bottom of the fourth, one on. Nobody out for Aliso's. Paige Sandoval, she singles. And Daniel Mandichek goes to second. One out now, second and third for Aliso's Megan Thorpe. She goes to left. Mandichek scores. It's one to nothing, Aliso Niguel. Top of the fifth, Oaks Christian threatens with a tying run at second. Thorpe again, a big strikeout to end an inning. Bottom of the fifth, two out for Aliso Niguel with runners at first and second. Daniel Mandichek singles. Tori Mickelson scoring, but she gets hung up. Between third and home, Caitlin Kruger, the tag, and she is out. That's a tough one. Top of the sixth. Still, 1-0, Aliso Niguel. And it's Kruger at the plate looking for the tie, and Kate Paluka is there to track it down for a big out. Top of the seventh. Oaks Christian making noise. Down to their final outs. Brooke Snyder at second. Nobody out. Sarah Ketring doubles to left. Snyder scores, and that ties this game at one. Then big... Big defensive play for Aliso. Pinch runner Olivia Lucchesi at second. One out now. Trying to steal. And Sandoval to Altafish gets the runner. Well, that's two outs. Oaks Christian would load the bases, though, for Kyla Ketring. She's dangerous. She knocks in two. Bobby Joe Dallas scores. Simons guard scores. Oaks Christian has come back to lead it now 3-1. to one. Bottom of the seventh. Haley Tran leads it off for Aliso. An infield hit, and the ball gets away. The error, and she gets to second. Elisa would load the bases with one out for Daniel Mandichak. She gets it. The hit, Tran scores. And Jen Brittingham trying to score. She is out. Now there's two outs. They're down to their final out. Paige Sandoval with the winning run at second. And she you know, pops out to right. And that's it. Tough loss for Elisa Miguel. Oaks Christian comes back to win it. By a final score of three to two, they score three in the top of the seventh inning. Elisa Miguel out hit Oaks Christian seven to five. In girls soccer, the team was ranked number one in the state. Here's a look at a very entertaining round two playoff matchup. Their second round opponent, not easy. Top seeded Aliso Niguel, who has not lost a game, but they had a bye in round one. Jay Sarah again looking to make school history and advance even further. That was a save by Kiki Solomon off the Tatia Dombazi kick five minutes into the game. Then less than a minute later, Jay Sarah with a chance. Freshman Isabella Dequila, a lefty shot saved by Alyssa No. 
Then Aliso on its third corner kick. Remy Matthews gets it in, but bobbled and saved by Solomon. Still no score. Then with four minutes left in the first half, Remy Matthews starts it. Emily Benner back kicks it, then off a defender to Dumbadze. She stays with it, gets a left foot on it, goes near corner, and it's one to nothing. Aliso Niguel. Just before the first half ends, Sam Hobart gets a shot off from the 27-yard line, grabbed by No. She smothers it, and it's one to nothing at the half. The Baker brothers, Greg and Matt, looking for a way to beat. The top seed, Aliso Niguel Wolverine, second half. Aliso looking for more. Tatia Dumbadze to Olivia Abrek, just tipped over by Solomon. Then, scary moment, Isabella Dequila, the dangerous one on one, collides with No. She goes down hard. No was okay, but Dequila would leave with a shoulder injury. Aliso again, this time Amy Aquino to Mia Darden, just too high. And then the Jay Sarah bench, not a good scene. Dequila with ice on the shoulder. She is done for the game. She'll be back next season. Then an extra time. SJ Affleck, what moves? Gets it to Bella Felino, who nets it. And Aliso Niguel advances to the quarterfinals with a two to nothing win. Um, well, honestly, we were a little nervous. We were very nervous. You know, we've heard a lot of good things about this team, and uh, we just have a lot of nervous energy and not being able to play for that long. Um, it was just really hard to mentally prepare for it and physically prepare for it, yeah. Celebration after that second round win. Dumbadze and Felino, the goals for Elise and Aguil as they blank Jay Sarah two to nothing. The girls then lost a tough match in double overtime in the quarterfinals. The boys' soccer team won the Seaview League title but were eliminated in round two of the playoffs. In girls' basketball, what a season they had, winning their first league title since 2003. Here's a look at round one of a playoff game against Tribuco Hills. Good South County matchup in the Division 1A girls' hoops round one game. Tribuco Hills out of the Seaview League, the number three team against Aliso Niguel, the number one team out of the South Coast League. First quarter, Tribuco Hills, Caitlin Anderson, nice move, lays it in. Mustangs lead it 2-0. Here comes Aliso Niguel, trailing 4-3. Suzette Quinlan from the corner. The three bomb, 6-4 Aliso. Then it's Quinlan again. She catches fire, and so do the Wolverines. 16-4 Aliso. Then Aliso off the Tribuco Hills miss. Madeline Brower gets out in front. Banks it in around the defense, 23-4. A 24-0 run for Aliso. Tribuco Hills gets back on the board. Nice move by Sierra Clark, the two. 27-6, Aliso. More Quinlan, though. She stays deep, another three. 34-8, Wolverines are doing everything right in this game. Then it's the Tribuco Hills captains, Kim Hom to Jordan Corrito. Mustangs on a 9-0 run, 34-17 Aliso at the half. Art Carrito and the Mustangs need a big run in the second half. Third quarter, Aliso's Madeline Brower. Double covered, banks it in, 39-17 Aliso. Then Tribuco Hills, Sabrina Carrito outside. Takes it inside for two, 44-22 Aliso. Then Aliso's McKenna Lee. Goes inside for the scoop shot. 48-24, Lady Wolverines. Fourth quarter. Quinlan back, bombing the three. She had seven threes in the game. 51-27, Aliso. Tribuco Hills not giving up. Melanie Cody tries once, twice. Emma Loveless puts it in finally. 53-29, Aliso. Aliso's Anne Marie Whetstone then to Paige Cato. And Aliso rolls in round one over Tribuco Hills, 61 to 38. Um, we definitely pushed the fast break, and we are like focus points. We're crashing the boards, um, you know, not letting them get any offensive rebounds, using our speed to our advantage, and the girls just did like awesome job. Um, it was like a full team effort, and it's just super fun to see the girls make that, you know, a huge first round for us. Um, a huge turnaround from last year and you know total team effort that just like we've been putting in all this hard work and it's totally paying off for the girls which is so cool uh, it's amazing we 
we had a pretty rough season last year, so this the season has been a lot better. I'm really proud of us. I'm really happy that we were able to come out with the win tonight. So a nice beginning for Elisa Niguel, the 61-33 win over Tribuco Hills. What a night for Suzette Quinlan. Seven three-pointers. Tribuco Hills just 10 total points in two quarters in the loss. To girls volleyball, the Elisa Niguel Wolverines won a title in 2014. They were looking for their third straight league title, but they had to beat Tribuco Hills in the last match of the regular season. Both 4-0 in league, Aliso Niguel number 5 in Orange County, Tribuco Hills number 8 in Orange County. Two meetings this season, the first one here, and Aliso Niguel just dominated. Set one back and forth after an early Tribuco Hills lead off the Alley Cantor serve. Catherine Plummer sets Gigi Ruddens, Aliso up 8-5. Tribuco Hills comes back on a 4-1 run. Off the Lauren White serve, Antonella Rolda and Serena Hudson block Ruddens to tie it at 9. Aliso holds on after that to win set one, 25-21 off the Catherine Plummer ace. Aliso up one set to none. Craig Moothart in his seventh year at Tribuco Hills looking to even the matchup. Set two, a great point here. Look at McKenna Ross go get that one. Flips it up backwards and the point goes on. And what a great point between these two top ten teams. It will eventually end here with Ali Cantor. She gets one shot at it, but it's Bumped up by Plummer, but Cantor another shot at it. This time, that one is good. And Tribuco Hills leads at 13 to 12, but Aliso able to finish on a 13-9 run. Catherine Plummer, great serving. Kirsten Battle, a block, and Aliso Niguel wins set two, 25-21, up two sets to none. DP Butler and his Wolverines feeling good. Set three, Aliso up by three. McKenna Ross, what a set and match she had as she gets the kill down. It's 10-6 Elisa Niguel. Lauren White serves for Tribuco Hills. Catherine Plummer quick strike. Elisa Niguel maintains a four point lead 12-8. Tribuco Hills trying to climb back in it. Michelle Feliciano serves for Elisa Niguel. Antoinette rolled uh, the pushover. Tribuco Hills down 15-9. Then Plummer with the power for Aliso. She gets the back set and uses the angle, 19 to 13, Aliso up. Ali Cantor serves for Tribuco Hills. Gigi Ruddens this time crushes it for Aliso. They're up 22-15. The match ends with McKenna Ross crushing it over right there, and the Wolverines sweep Tribuco Hills. Three sets to none to stay perfect in league with a record of five and zero. Oh. We pulled it out. I mean, the defense and the, the hitting, it's just the gel, man. You, you saw the gel, and that's that's when we do best. 3-0, the sweep, 25-21, 25-21, 25-17. Catherine Plummer, 14 kills. McKenna Ross and Gigi Ruddens had seven kills each in the sweep over Tribuco Hills. The girls then went into the playoffs and lost in the quarterfinals. Stanford-bound Catherine Plummer, though, was named State Player of the Year after the season. Well, that's going to wrap things up for the Elisa Niguel High School 2015-2016 sports season. Congratulations to all of the athletes. For more information, log on to cityofalisoviejo.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Gordon Spencer.